this a BTS vibes? Yeah. Music bet I run this now. <laughs> <laughs> Music bed sessions, SO, take one. What's up, people? Welcome back. Hopefully you're doing well. I'm doing pretty well myself, actually. So today we have another behind the scenes video. Unlike the other behind the scenes video that you guys have seen, this one is a tiny bit different. Last week, I got to go to Fort Worth, Texas with Music Bed, and I had the opportunity one of the days to see Music Bed's live session in person at their headquarters. The artist that was performing was S.O. <laughs> And not only did I get to experience the live performance, the concert, and just the overall atmosphere of what Musicbed creates for these live sessions, but I was also granted access the day before and hours prior to the show, all of the behind the scenes to see what it takes to make something like this. So yeah, now, now that everything is in, I need to hit me a little bit. Hey guys, my name is Landon Cox. I'm the head of production here at Musicbed, Film Supply, FM. Uh, today I'm directing the session we got going on. Today we're gonna be with S.O. He's a hip hop guy, born in Nigeria, raised in London. Yeah, music is so much about tone and feeling. And so when we're trying to put on these productions, we wanna match that. We're just coming alongside the music and saying, hey, what's, what's, we're just the icing on the cake. Uh, we can't be the whole cake. And for something like this, what's really interesting is we're kind of doing our part separately, he's doing his part separately, and we're not gonna know how any of this stuff matches until we actually get there um, tonight, which I'm super pumped about. About a year or so ago, I was connected with Musicbed and they reached out to me because my YouTube channel was starting to grow at the time. Fortunately, I was already using Musicbed for probably like two years at that point already. Um, it was because I just liked their aesthetic. I liked the way that you could choose the songs with the different attributes, the genres, the moods, all of the different, th it, for me, it was just a pretty seamless process. And then their ever evolving playlists, because in the beginning, I remember like three years ago or so, it was a, you know, one or two pages of playlists and then some filmmakers on there, but now, a couple years later, they have pages of playlists with different vibes, different genres, different filmmakers, different, it's just, there, there's such a wide range of playlists now, along with the type of music selection and song selection that you can find with the uh, different categories. This past week, they invited me and a bunch of other filmmakers to their lake house in Fort Worth, Texas. And like I said, one of the things that I was really excited for was that I got to actually document the behind the scenes of the making of the show. And the one thing that really sticks out with me about Musicbed in particular is that as filmmakers, we're scrolling through Musicbed, finding these songs, you know, downloading them, adding them to our, adding them to our videos. And the one thing, when I was there in person, it made me realize is that when Esso, who was performing, arrived on set and arrived to do his performance, it wasn't just some nameless or faceless person that I was just downloading their music from from their website. This is like an actual human being, an artist that is looking to grow in their respective field. Us as filmmakers in person, seeing that artist, the musical artist, together was truly just exactly what that brand stands for. The one thing that I really, really enjoyed seeing and the thing that I, I, I felt was really cool actually was when Esso walked into the room with all of us filmmakers, he took a moment to actually say thank you to all of us for downloading his music and using it in our videos. And that to me just shows the correlation between the musical artist and us as filmmakers. So for those of you that are still looking to find a great music licensing website or platform, I highly encourage you to check out Musicbed, not only for their great platform and their ability to produce great music and artists, but just for the sheer fact that they truly take care of their artists. They take care of the filmmakers, they take care of the creators, and it's not just some brand with some nameless and faceless people. They truly take care of everybody involved. Uh, so if you are interested in pursuing Musicbed and checking out their music, definitely use the code CARLO at checkout to receive one month free when you subscribe to an annual subscription.
Yeah, man, good to meet you. Yeah, you too. Um, so for the first song, yes. uh, first three songs, yes. I think because of the way we have the lights programmed, mm -hmm. I would prefer if we could do them all in cool. one long track. Okay. Is that possible in here? He's going to play something special for you. Whenever uh, you're ready. Oh, oh you, you have it. Sorry, LED cue or the like softbox cue? The softbox cue. Okay. What do we want it to be for this? Because uh, this is... You can load it up here, MIMS. This is just set it. I have it. Okay. Right. So, ready and... Is it blue? Can we just go white? I might as well just go crazy, right? It, it's the police one. I don't have the, tra the tracks offline for some reason, but... Okay, I can make a cue for this. I'm Alton Stevens. I'm the DP. Uh, editor, colorist, and lighting programmer of this music bit session for SO. For this shoot, what's very interesting is if there's a live production element and also production element. Um, it's kind of like a live music video. So the, the importance of programming lights to create the live production feel, but staying consistent between multiple takes is really important. So we're, we're trying to make the room great for the audience, uh, but also when we go to put pieces together, uh, a piece that the artist will be proud of, will be proud of, uh, that'll feel a little bit more like a, a music video. So yeah, I think, uh, I think it's exciting to see all the separate pieces that we've been working on for the last couple weeks come together. Cause it's one thing to like listen to a track that we've been programming to, but then when the artist comes in and, and the crowd's full, there's an energy you get from the crowd that he's going to feed off of. There's an energy that the lights and cameras are trying to capture. For this particular live session, they had four cameras, all of them Blackmagic Pocket Cinema cameras, and three of them were on the Easy Rig setup, mostly for handheld, to get intimate moments, to get some closer, uh, you know, more detailed moments, to get some more energy with the handheld movement. And the last camera was set in the back corner on a jib. And the really cool thing about this one was because it gave a different perspective than the handheld cameras that were near the stage. This was on a slightly wider lens and you were able to see the crowd, you were able to see the full stage and it just gave a whole new perspective, especially when the jib started swooping and uh, creating some dynamic movement around the crowd. Each camera was set up with a Teradek wireless system which went to a multi-feed monitor that Landon was monitoring and the reason for this is because he was on the headset with all the different operators and if he needed one operator to do something different or he needed them to swap because one had a different lens, whatever the case may be, him looking at the multicam setup was able to help him decide what he needed to be done in that moment and communicate with that with the operators so they could do it quickly and efficiently. One of my favorite parts of the show was the lighting, of course, because I love lighting and it was just really cool to see what they did with the space and how they created a really cool dynamic lighting setup. And I got a chance to talk with the DP, Alton. So yeah, this is a little breakdown from Alton of what the fixtures they used, why they used them, and uh, how they created the overall vibe and aesthetic for this live session. Up top in our softbox, we have two Nova P300s. Um, wired through DMX, and along the exterior we have eight Alation pixel bars, all wired through DMX. Then we have three 300Xs uh, as spotlights for some kick, some separation from that background, you know? <laughs> so running everything through DMX lets me stay in the back, make sure all my cues are hit at the same time, and I'm able, able to create that seamless edit uh, between three different takes. Really with creating these looks, it's to keep it simple and minimal. When listening to the tracks, we try to find colors that can fit the vibe. Um, typically with songs that are a little harder, we go a little more red. With something a little slower, we might go a little more deep blue. Uh, but what's very important to me is making sure I'm mixing in clean light and it's not just RGB values shooting through the softbox because then you lose skin tones. Which is very interesting when working in a live production environment where you're trying to do both, is you, you're trying to make it look good for on, on camera, but also make it look good for people in the room. And you have this, this, this balance you gotta hit. So uh, we try to mix in natural even light to at least get some skin tone contrast or some contrast with skin tones and then uh, maybe like a blue, blue wash over the skin. Um, that's why we also have the spotlights in the back to at least 
give some, some color separation. It was really cool to see them program the lighting to each of the songs and figure out what color best represented the song and feeling and mood. And what was also cool is not only color, when a beat drop or when uh, a drum hit, for example, they could create an effect with the light where it hits or it goes black and it comes back. That to me really elevated the look by creating a more dynamic experience instead of just having you know, one set of colors throughout one song and then changing the colors for another song. They changed the color throughout the song. They played with the lighting movement. They did a bunch of different things to create a way more dynamic experience. I've been collaborating with my DP, Alton. He's also an editor in-house here at FM. We have really similar tastes for some stuff, but then there's like contrasting tastes that if I'm like, hey, I'm not feeling this, he can maybe convince me otherwise. Or if I'm even on the fence on something, I'll say, Alvin, what do you think about this? And he's usually like, uh, I'm, I'm not a fan. I'm like, you know what? I just needed you to say it out loud. Uh, so yeah, I think we work really well together. Doing these sessions, so far I've done the past four with Landon. What's really fun is figuring out how to make the next one better. So naturally we start really simple and the next one, we try to up it a little bit. I was just talking earlier about this, of how, it's like, how come every time we do a session, it's less stressful, but more stressful at the same time? And it's because we're always adding another element, trying to like, try, try every time to like push it up a little further. Um, so that's really fun, it's creative problem solving. For me personally, Musicbed, on the outside, it's all about creativity and the artist. And it's just like, it's the exact same on the inside. Um, I've worked here for almost nine years now and none of that's ever changed. And I think that's the part that I really appreciate about everybody that works here is like there's such a value on creativity, such a value on excellence. And uh, I know personally that's things that I value and um, it just, I don't know, it's just, a, it's just a part of the culture here, which is what I, I like. Overall, I was just truly very impressed with what they were able to create. From the two days or day and a half that I was there to see what they were doing, I got to see how much effort, time, precision, and perfection it takes to really make something like this happen. And I, again, thank you to Landon, thank you to Alton, thank you to Musicbed for allowing me the access to go behind the scenes and see what it looks like to create these live sessions. That's all I got for you today. Hopefully you enjoyed the behind the scenes video. I know it was a little bit different, but hopefully you still got some benefit out of it, especially for those of you out there that might have some interest in doing live performance. This could be a great video for you to watch and just see what it takes to really make something like this. So that's it everybody. I will see you next time. Have a great day. Peace out.